You never can tell when a storm can damage your house, but what you can be is be prepared. App Electronics has a variety of items that will keep both your home and your family safe during and even after a storm. For this demonstration, the basement window was left open during a rainstorm and rain found its way inside the house, down the wall, and onto the floor. Now whether you have a little bit of water or a lot of water, the first thing you're going to want to do is get rid of it because it can lead to damage to the home and eventually lead to health problems if not removed. Now what you're going to want to do is, the best thing to do is take a shop vac. App Electronics has them in a couple different sizes, both small and large. Put on the attachment that best works with whatever you're working with. Some water might be behind something, you can use a narrow attachment. This one will work just fine on the floor. So go ahead and turn it on and suck up as much water as you can. Once you've removed as much standing water as you can, there's still going to be a little bit of moisture on the ground. The best way to get rid of that is to bring in an air mover. ShopVac has a variety of air movers that come in a couple different sizes based on the room that you need to clean up. The water's gone on the floor, but it's still a little bit wet, so bring out the air mover, point it into the direction of where the water was. When you turn it on, it's going to recirculate dry air so it will absorb and get rid of as much moisture as it can, leaving the floor bone dry. So point it at the water area and turn it on. So now all the standing water is gone. The moisture on the ground is also gone, but there's another step that you must take because it can cause further damage. A dehumidifier is going to take in all the moisture that you cannot see, whether it's in the wall, in the carpet, or even circulating throughout the air. If you do not take care of moisture that's in the floorboards or, or even in the rug, that can actually develop into mold, which can be very dangerous. So what you're going to want to have is a dehumidifier. They come in a variety of different sizes, starting at 30 pints and goes upward. Now the best way to do it is to keep it either in a bedroom or the area, wherever it was that was wet, and point it at it as well. Turn on the dehumidifier and you can actually leave it on for a very long time. Typically these are left on for 12 hours a day all day long. People like to have their climate the same. So go ahead and point that at it, turn it on, make sure you get rid of as much water as you can. It's very easy to dispense. Some models have a couple of different uh, options here. You can change the levels of humidity that you'd like so it'll turn off after you've reached that humidity level or you can just have it go continuous which will always drain the humidity air. Another nice thing is some models will also have a drain on the back of the unit or plug here that you can stick a hose to and it'll drain continuously. If you do not have a hose, that's fine because there is a uh, safety issue here on this unit that will turn off once the bucket is full. It'll give you a notification whether a sound or the light will be on and it's very easy. This model right here, it will stop when the bucket is full. You just take it out, you have all the water in here and just dump it out. Once empty, put it back in, turn the dehumidifier back on and get cleaning again. Of course, none of these things are going to work if you're without power. That's why it's important to have a generator on hand. A generator is going to give you emergency electricity to run the lights, to run the cleaning items, to run your refrigerator, everything that you need to keep normal and safe. This model right here will give you the opportunity to put in a couple different items that you need to keep powered up. It runs on gasoline and depends on the size of your house and the different things that you're going to run, you're going to want a generator that suits your needs. For more information on picking out the best generator, visit our generator buying guide at app.com. So now all the water is gone, everything's back to being bone dry. But no matter how hard you've tried to clean it, there still is a musty smell in your basement. That's where Fresh Wave from Apt Electronics comes in. What it does is it absorbs all the nasty air in the area and it'll emit a nice citrusy smell. They come in either pearl bags or a crystal gel that can be refilled. Leave it out for about a month or so, but you'll definitely smell a difference within the few couple days afterwards. For more information on how to keep your home safe during and after a storm, visit us online at app.com. Feel free to leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest electronics and appliances.